is suing a Gilbert police officer claiming that he used excessive force during her arrest last year. And tonight, Matt Rodewald heard from the woman's lawyer. He joins us now in the newsroom with that story. Matt. Well, Mark, there are now five different Valley police organizations that are under the microscope for the way that they de-escalate situations. Phoenix, Glendale, Mesa, Tempe, and of course now Gilbert, all within the last 15 months. Questions over their use of force policy. Samantha Glass says that she has severe headaches now and some scarring as a result of a March 2018 incident. An incident that has started innocently enough. Body cam video from the March 2018 incident with Gilbert police begins with a friendly exchange. But it's very clear that Samantha Glass was drunk and did not intend to cooperate. She had had too much to drink. She was intoxicated and that was apparent. It's apparent um, on the, the body cam video we have and it was obvious, I'm sure, to the officer. The conversation gets more contentious. I'm sick. Don't swear at me. I haven't sworn at you. And that question certainly got her attention. She becomes uh, agitated. She's 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 afraid of getting arrested, and so she she starts raising her voice. Um, the officer, who I'm sure outweighs her significantly, is certainly larger and stronger in stature. You're not free to leave. Nick! You are not free to leave. Nicholas, put your hands behind your back. No! Put your hands behind your back. As she gets pushed to the pavement, it's this particular move by Officer Christopher Robinson that is being called into question against an unarmed drunk suspect. Because it's not necessary. I, I mean, she was intending to leave. The officer said she did not, she wasn't allowed to leave. Let her walk downstairs. She's not going to outrun him. Um, then, then calmly try and talk to her and, and calm her down. I'm good. I'm good. Just two seconds after she hit the pavement, backup arrives. Take time, slow things down, wait for backup. Um, you, you know, there's just, there's just no reason to rush. Class, of course, pled guilty to extreme DUI and interfering with a police officer, but she was never ultimately charged with vehicle burglary. That is the call that brought police officers to that apartment complex in the first place. Gilbert police say that they are not commenting on pending litigation. We'll have more as we follow along with this story. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Matt Rodewald, Fox 10 News.